Hello, I am Dr. Rajkumar Vadva. I am a chief gastroenterologist working at Apollo BJS Hospitals, Mysore. On the eve of World Liver Day, let us look at some of the facts as to how the liver diseases in our life in general is causing a havoc. There are about 5 million people suffering from chronic liver diseases in India. Majority of these are due to lifestyle problems like excess consumption of alcohol or non-alcoholic steatohepatitis due to obesity and diabetes mellitus. What does this liver disease cause? This liver disease, ab about 3 lakh people die of liver diseases every year in India which is the 10th leading cause of death and about 5 to 15 percent of these develop into the cancer of the liver. Not only as a cause of death but it really causes a havoc in day to day life. These people who are suffering from long term problems tend to lose their employment. Unemployment generates the financial difficulty in family. Repeated hospitalizations leads to financial burdens and eventually this leads to emotional instability of the family. We see people, family leaving them and, and they suffering the end of the life care in a difficult manner. Majority of these diseases are preventable. They are self-generated like if we reduce the consumption of alcohol we can potentially reduce the leading cause of, of liver disease. Regular exercises, watch out for your weight and, and regular control of diabetes can, can reduce significantly the incidence of these liver diseases. And once the liver disease is diagnosed, a proper follow. Doctor maintaining your health or helping to maintain your health will, will go in a long way to make sure that we preserve the liver functions and give a good quality of life. Those patients who have already reached a stage where the good quality of life is not maintainable, of course, there is an option available today to undergo liver transplantation where your near and dear ones can, can help you in, in regain the health. Once the liver transplantation is done, you actually become a near normal person and you have a wonderful life thereafter which otherwise you would have left, lived without the liver diseases. On the eve of this, I sincerely wish we can prevent many of these liver diseases. If we have not been able to prevent, we can maintain a good quality of, of life for a long period of time. And if we still can't do it, at least replace the liver with a new liver. Thank you so much for listening to this video.